Hey, you guys. Um, it's Connie from Connie's Crafty Corner. Um, I'm back. I told you guys I may try to film again later in the day from my last video, and it's been just a little bit. Um, but I had to run upstairs and check on things. But I just want to show you a couple things that I finished this past week um, that I'm really proud of. I'm excited to show you. Um, remember the pattern that I showed you guys? It's under all the other stuff from my last video. It's the baby high top set from MJ's Off the Hook. Y'all, I cannot recommend this pattern enough. It is a, for, a paid for pattern that you get on Etsy, but you get a hat, the high top sneakers, and the baby afghan. Um, and I'll refresh you guys who maybe hadn't seen my video before, but here's the little high top sneakers and I've got it all squished. I'm trying to fix it. There you go. Ooh, looks better when you got something stuffed down in there. And uh, listen, I have, still haven't finished the little ties, but this is a shoe. It's so adorable, y'all. I'm just, I'm still so in love with this. And I, I bet that's going to be too, I know it's going to be too big for a newborn, but that's what I made. And the little hat, here's the other shoe. And here's the little hat that I made last week. Look, it's got the little brim on it. I love this. This is one of my favorite little baby hats that I've made. And I will be making more of these, I can promise you. And then here's what I finished this week. Um, ooh, I'm knocking stuff over. I made the afghan. And I made it too big, I know, but I was doing this pattern repeat. I did not follow her pattern repeat um, because I think it called for four colors, maybe five. Let's see, one, two, three, four colors. And I only had the three to work with. Um, and I, I just did my own thing. And I love it. I think it's so pretty. And I made it a little bit long because of the pattern repeat. I had to get it to work out. But, Lord, I, I, I think it's pretty. It's how that uh, line brand feels like butter. And I can't remember the color names and I don't have the ball bands with me. But it is in the last video where I talked about this with the shoes. And I think the, the gray is the only one I didn't show you. And I think it's just called gray. I, I don't know. I can't remember. It may not be. Cause I have a light gray and a dark gray and I don't have any of the dark gray down here. In fact, I don't even have a ball band for the gray because I made my daughter, do you remember when it, the Harry Styles cardigan was crazy all over YouTube? I don't know if you guys ever saw that. It's where you sew the blocks and you sew them together and make a, a, a jacket with, it had a collar and it buttoned up the front. It, it was just so crazy. People did it in crazy colors. Well, I found a pattern, I think it was Hey Carrie who did a, a Harry Styles inspired crochet version and hers was so pretty. It had the little baubles. I think some of the blocks had the baubles and some of them was like the lemon peel stitch or the grit, I can't remember. Um, had all different kinds of, I think it was four, three, four, five different stitch patterns. You made all these blocks. Anyway, that's one of the first things I did after I started crocheting again, I did it for my daughter and I used that dark gray color. I just did all one color because hers was all one color. And I wished I had a picture of Sarah in that jacket. I am so proud of that coat. Um, maybe I'll try to get her to get a picture and show it to you, but I, I just loved it. It was beautiful, but I'm rambling on. I was just telling you about this color, but that's probably the proudest thing I've ever done. It's because I worked my tail off on that thing. And I'm telling you guys, I had to watch a video on how to do the bobble stitch, of how to do the, I can't remember what all she caught, I can't remember all that, but all of them I had to watch a video on because I was so fresh getting back into crochet. And that was been, it'll be two years ago this Christmas that I gave it to her. Um, Oh, I, I'm so proud of that. I wished I had a picture. But here's another thing I finished. I can't believe I finished. I told you guys in my last video that I was going to work on this and nothing else until I finished it. But I lied. I straight up lied to you guys because I started this. I wanted to make this so bad. Because um, I'm, I'm loving making stuff. And I just shook my camera or my phone so much. I hope it didn't shake for y'all. Um, I'm just dying to make things for babies. Uh, but I finished my shawl that's the mini skein set or the mini, I can't remember, I never can remember the name of this, but I will have it linked below. But it's where you start, you're supposed to just use mini skeins, but I doubled it with a um, a sock yarn that I have from Southern Skeins. No, it might be a, a DK. But anyway, here's the different colors. 
and you just change colors until you run out of the mini skein and then you do the eyelet row. And this thing blocked out so much bigger than it was when I first finished it. And I haven't tied in the end, don't judge. That's purple, even though it looks blue. Let's get it up closer so you guys can see. This yarn, the other yarn had a lot of blue in it. So it did change it. But I, I was not loving this when I was making it because these are not really the colors that I would just pick out to make something. But for me anyway, but I absolutely love the way this thing turned out. It turned out so pretty and it's huge. I thought it was gonna be a lot smaller. But it turned out blocked out good. And those big old humps that was on it that I showed you guys last time, this big old huge, right there, it, it pretty much blocked completely. That's a tiny bit raised right there and not in line, but the rest of it, I'm telling you, it, it was bad when I went to go block it, but it turned out much, it did block well. But I love this, I love it. And I don't know, I always try to put these things on for you guys, but I'm so, it takes me forever to fix one when I'm wearing it to go somewhere. But I can see wearing this thing a lot of different ways. I think this is so pretty. Sitting here looking at myself talking about how pretty it looks, but I do, I love it. And it's it's lightweight enough because it opened up so much that I think you could wear it like in the spring even, especially here in Colorado, because I'm telling you, it's been cold here. We finally got some rain this week. And that's why I'm so shocked that my skin is so bad because we've had so much moisture, but I'm telling you, I'm falling apart. My hands are anyway, and my lips. But, um. Anyway, I think this could be worn in spring here, like in the evenings and, and some a lot of days, um, but I love it. And I love the colors for this time of year. It's Eastery looking to me. So, but that's actually all I finished this week. I have been working on um, some, a couple projects for the Spook Your Spring Make Along with a Happy Crafty Homemaker. I'm gonna give you a little preview of something I'm gonna work on. This yarn that I got from Lisa by Happy to Hook Creations. I'm gonna make a shawl out of this because I think it's very Halloween-y looking. And I'm also working on the mug rugs. I may have mentioned that in my last video, but it's from Annie's catalog and I'll show you guys when I get done with them. But anyway, this um, this this is all I had to show you today. Um, I am losing my train of thought, you guys. Anyway, you guys have a great week, and I will be back in about a week, week and a half, to see you guys, and I hope everybody has a wonderful time, and I cannot get my words out, so I think it's time I ended this video. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye-bye.